Hey, what is up guys? Guitar Rock here, welcome back to another Nikkei Goddess of Victory video. Let's talk about RAM. Alright, so I've done a separate video pulling for RAM. So in this video, I want to talk about should you pull for RAM? Is she going to be worth pulling for? Now, first things first, RAM is a supporter, unlike uh, Emilia, which is an attacker. So being a supporter, she's less dupe reliant, or you don't have to worry about dupes as much I'll compared to being an attacker because the stats is going to be more important as an attacker, right? However, as a supporter, she does a pretty decent amount of damage actually compared to most other supporters out there. She's doing more damage than Dola, doing more damage than Lita. So I find that pretty impressive as a, you know, as a supporter, uh, her damage is quite high up there. So something to keep in mind. Now the truth is, I know a lot of players are worried and especially uh, with the half anniversary coming really soon, uh, players are worried that once Ram goes away, they will never have the chance to obtain her ever again. Now I can totally understand that. Now you should only consider pulling Ram if you have the three strongest rocket launcher units right now in the game. And that is going to be Scarlet Black Shadow, A2, and of course Amelia. So these three characters, if you have all three, then it makes sense for you to pull Ram. Now if you don't have any of these three, um, Scarlet Black Shadow is someone that you can obtain eventually, right? Because she is in the standard banner. She's not like someone that's impossible to obtain. So something to keep in mind as well. So there's always that into the factor. So uh, I don't want to like talk too much. I want to show you guys the results, which is why you guys are here for. So let's jump into it, show you guys a little bit of testing results as well. So the first testing result that I did is I put uh, Ram in a team where uh, I put Ram, Lita, uh, A2, Emilia, and Mononya. So obviously A2, like I mentioned, A2 is a rocket launcher unit, same goes for Emilia. You can see right here with Ram, Emilia was able to achieve about 36 million, but when I replaced that with Dola, which is also another very, very good solid uh, burst 2 buffer, uh, she dropped a little bit, all right, so 32. In, as opposed to 36, so a very significant drop right there. Now this damage is going to be even more bigger in proportion when you are using Scarlet Black Shadow because that's the, the amount of damage that she can do is going to be way, way more. So definitely uh, for Emilia alone, you can see the comparison here. This is about 10% increase in damage, right? Pretty much when you compare uh, Ram versus Dola for Emilia. So something to keep in mind. Uh, however, something that you want to consider, when you use Dola, she doesn't heal. So therefore, A2 suffers significantly because she can't heal, right? So she's not able to consistently uh, prolong her damage, but Ram is able to heal A2. So if you do have A2, definitely I can see Ram being a very, very good pair or good team. Uh, it feels like Ram is just built for A2 in a way because uh, her kit basically, I tested, it allows A2 to basically just do a single burst and she can just heal off of that particular sustain throughout uh, of 1 minute 30 seconds duration, which is kind of insane if you think about it. So something to consider, right? This one, this one, this one. Okay, uh, so this is going to be a comparison between RAM and Dola. You know what, let's just briefly go through, right? So people know the differences between RAM and Dola. Now, uh, Dola is going to be a burst too. Now the reason why I compare Dola and uh, Ram is because you are probably not going to use Tia and Naga with Ram. You are probably not going to use Blanc and Noir with Ram. Like you can but it's going to be super inefficient, right? Because Blanc and Noir is burst 2 and burst 3, Ram is burst 2. That means you have 2 burst 2 in your team, which wouldn't make sense. Now Tia and Naga, they already need one more burst 1. Tia and Naga need one more burst 1 and then now you go and put in one more burst 2, you're going to be lacking a lot of damage. So probably she's going to be like a separate team. So Dola has like a permanent attack percent buff right there. And then Dola also has CDR reduction. Very straightforward. Uh, she's a very straightforward character and her burst skill does damage. So this is going to be her permanent uh, attack buff, 16% right there, level 10. Uh, and then she does increase crit rate, crit damage as well. And of course, burst skill. Now, Dola is going to be universal. She buffs everyone, unlike Ram, which she is very specific towards rocket launcher units. So you can see this one, she increased her own attack, right? This affects self. This one, she basically uh, heal. Dola doesn't heal, by the way. So this one is heal. Uh, she also have this one more heal on skill 2. Skill 2 can do a couple of things. Can recover HP as H, uh, recover HP as attack damage, very, very good. 
and also when enter battle affect self and two rocket launcher wielding ally units with the highest attack and can share the hp recovery continuously so she does have passive heal right and then the last one the burst skill is where it gets interesting uh, ram can heal and can also boost allies with rocket launcher but she has to team up with a rocket launcher unit which is why i put scarlet black shadow and i put uh, Emilia right there. So you can see attack increased by 50% of the caster's attack. Alright. And also max ammo capacity increase. So in case you guys are not aware, rocket launcher right now. Who is the strongest rocket launcher right now? It's none other than Scarlet Black Shadow. She's the strongest. The second strongest rocket launcher is Emilia or A2, depending. It's like these three are the top three. Scarlet Black Shadow, Emilia, A2. If you don't have any of these three, pulling ram is probably not going to increase much of your damage. But if you do have Scarlet Black Shadow, holy moly, the damage. The damage, guys. This is where it gets interesting. Look at this. Liter 14 million, liter 13 million. So this is Dola. This is ram. So ram can do more damage than Dola, obviously. Obviously, Ram is a much better damage dealer. Scarlet Black Shadow improved by 10 million. 10 million. Now, I do think this is better. Now, why do I say it's better? Uh, 10 number one is 10 million. Number two, she also heals her, which is going to be in a scenario where it's going to be very useful, whereas Dola, Dola doesn't heal. Dola doesn't heal. So if Dola, in most cases, you are going to need one more healer, right? For Emilia, 36 increased to 39. So Emilia's buff is super minimal, right? Now keep in mind, Dola, Dola provides buffs as well, like I mentioned earlier, right? Dola does give permanent buff as well. Uh, just ram buffs more. Now, in this team, where we have Emilia and Scarlet Black Shadow, right? These two are Rocket Launcher. This is Rocket Launcher. This is Rocket Launcher. This one is not. So, I, I think Alice is going to do more. Yeah, so Alice do more with Dola. Because Ram doesn't buff non-Rocket Launcher unit. She is a sniper rifle. But I'm using Alice because Alice buff her indirectly. Or buff these two somewhat, right? With her skill one, right? So that's that. Uh, so in a mixed team, if you only use Scarlet Black Shadow, if you let's say you don't have Amelia, you only have Scarlet Black Shadow, probably the difference is not going to be that much. But if you have Scarlet Black Shadow, Amelia, and A2, and if you use these three, uh, I can see Ram uh, is going to be able to boost them way more. And Ram's value might even go up in the future as they introduce more rocket launcher units now keep in mind right like i mentioned earlier ram is a very very specific unit in which she buffs rocket launcher units and right now sadly rocket launcher units right now is limited to these characters query sucks vesti kind of suck we know that emilia is better we already tested her uh emilia is better than all of this so scarlet black shadow a2 and emilia is the best one gotta wait for laplace buff yeah you could you could wait for you could wait for Laplace buff, but the truth is, um, so right now, she seems pretty strong. If you have these conditions met, if you have Scarlet Black Shadow, if you have Amelia, decently invested, if you have A2, I think the buff that she provides is going to be pretty good. Now where it's going to fall off, uh, I mean where she's going to probably improve in the future, is going to be... We don't know what's going to happen in the future, so we only, can only say now. In the future, if they introduce more rocket launcher units, sure, she's going to shine even more, right? Because she specifically is very, very good against uh, or partnered with rocket launcher units. But what if in the future, there's a better buffer that they introduce, right? Like a better character that can buff Universal. Ram is also an S-tier healer. She is. She's a very good healer. Yeah, I think she is very, very good. And if you are willing to invest in her, she's going to be even stronger because of the scaling of this. It does scales off caster's attack, which I do like. So all in all, should you pull for Ram? I do think that she's going to be worth it 
for a lot of players. I do think that if I have to pick between Ram or Emilia, I would rather pick Ram because personally, as a supporter, uh, as more rocket launcher characters are introduced in the future, I do think that Ram is going to have more potential. Whereas for Emilia, her potential is pretty much set in stone right now. Uh, and that's going to be the level that she is. And Emilia is pretty strong, right? Not not to discredit her or anything. It's just that Ram's potential, uh, the ceiling is way higher depending on what characters that they will introduce later on. If there's like any like meta broken pilgrims that's like a rocket launcher kind of style, Ram is going to be even stronger than. So hopefully that's just to give you guys my perspective. Uh, maybe I'll do a more thorough video comparing these two and give you guys a better idea of input as a veteran player. With that being said, that's going to be it for today's showcase. Subscribe if you guys haven't already. Give this video a like and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a nice day. Goodbye. <laughs>